All right. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be examining different types of fingerprints. And the first fingerprint that we're going to be looking at is this one right over here. And this is called the arch. And if you look at the raised ridges, you'll see that they start on one side, they go up a hill, and then they go out to the opposite side. It's basically like riding up a hill on a bike. You're going up and out the other side. And if you examine this fingerprint, you'll see that you won't find any deltas anywhere. Deltas are just the little triangles. So again, arch starts on one side, goes up, and exits out the other side. The next one that we're going to look at is the loop. Now the difference between the arch and the loop is that the loop, it starts off on one side, it goes up the hill, but then the difference is, is that it exits out the same side. So if it were to start over here, it would go up, it would loop around, and it would go back out the same side. Now if you're examining the loop fingerprint, you'll notice that there is one delta, and you can see that it's located right here. So a loop has one delta. The final one that we're going to look at is the whirl. Now, if we were going to describe a whirl, it'd be just like looking at a whirlpool. And here you see it just goes round and round in a circle. And um, the interesting thing about a whirl is that you will find two deltas. So let's see if you can find them. All right, were you able to see them? Well, you have one over here. Here is the first delta, little triangle. And the other one is right over here, two deltas. So again, the whirl with two deltas, the loop with one delta, starting in on one side and going out the other, and the arch, no deltas, and it's just like going up and down a hill. Finally, you look at something that's called the composite. And a composite could be just a combination of any of the ones that we have already described. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. The fingerprints, arch, loop, whirl, and composite.